Welcome home! Healthy Organic and Easy by Michelle. Today we are making healthy Tukbegi Bulgogi. Tukbegi Bulgogi is my favorite Korean dish. You can eat meat and noodles and broth at the same time. And even put rice in there. Mmm. It's so delicious. You can enjoy tukbegi bulgogi at home using the welcome home method in less than 15 minutes. Let me show you. This is all you need. Frozen homemade marinated bulgogi meat which I will show you how to make it later. And healthy Korean soup broth. Also, two optional ingredients if you want. Frozen organic mushrooms and organic vermicelli noodles. Let me explain what Korean soup broth is. I made and use this soup broth all the time because I don't want to use any MSG. And it tastes even better than restaurant broth with MSG. And this is organic mushroom from the freezer. You don't have to wash or cut them. You can use them right away from the freezer. I have a two other video to show how to store organic vegetables so they last longer. And how to make a Korean soup broth and use it for a long time. If you want to learn, please check them out. Defrost bulgogi meat for one hour. And soak organic vermicelli noodles in hot water for 30 minutes. Now you are ready to start cooking. Let's make it! Put the uncooked bulgogi, noodles, and mushrooms in the pot. Cook on medium heat for 5 minutes. Add one and a half cups of Korean soup broth and add 2 teaspoons of soy sauce. Once it starts to boil, taste the broth. You can add salt as needed. I usually add half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put scallions on the top for a nice look. So, what do you think? Wasn't that really fast? Doesn't it look so delicious? Yes, it does! If you like the welcome method, please continue watching. And I will show you how to make a healthy homemade bulgogi meat. You need 2 pounds of sliced ribeye. Put the meat on a paper towel to let the blood out. Let's make the sauce. Peel and cut half an Asian pear. I'm going to use a blender to mix the pear into a puree. The puree should be very smooth. This is organic scallions from the freezer. And this is a garlic from the refrigerator. I'm going to use them today. I have another video that shows how you can store scallions and garlic longer. If you want to learn, please check it out. Slice one organic onion into thin pieces.
I'm going to use 2 cups of frozen scallions. So, you can chop and use 5 fresh scallions instead. Add half a cup of soy sauce. Add a pear puree. Add onions. Add 3 tablespoons of garlic. Add 4 tablespoons of homemade rice syrup. I never use sugar when I cook. Instead, I use a homemade rice syrup because it has a zero sugar. You can buy Korean rice syrup with a low sugar level at the supermarket. I have another video that shows which one has the lowest sugar level. Please check it out. Add 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. Add 2 tablespoons of white wine. Add a little bit of organic black pepper. Mix really well. Add a sauce and mix into large bowl and mix well. I recommend the marinating in the refrigerator for one hour, but if you want, you can cook it right away. Today's welcome home tip. You can store uncooked bulgogi meat in the freezer. So, you can enjoy 15 minutes to peggy bulgogi for a few months. healthy and easy and it takes only 15 minutes enjoy it